Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dela and today I'll be reviewing a movie called Cats which was released last year in 2019. And I'll be reviewing this movie with my friend Calvin because we both think it's like the cringiest thing ever. And even though it's starred by like freaking celebrities like Taylor Swift, Ian McKellen and James Corden, the comment sections and the review sections are all like full of negativity. 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 So, yeah, let's get into it. Yes, the film was meant to be based on a play that was made in 1981, which was a fantastic play written by Andrew Lloyd Webber. He was inspired by cat poems as a child and therefore came up with his own original musical play. So the plot of the play happens in the course of a night where a bunch of cats just come together in the junkyard and they sing a song to um, introduce themselves and talk about their lifestyles and what they do on a daily basis. And this is done to make a case for why each of them are worthy to ascend to or enter the heaven side layer which is basically the cat heaven and um, they can be reborn basically as a younger and more attractive cat and although when you come to watch the movie you have no idea what is going on especially in the first half an hour of the movie like nothing has been explained so you're just there like watching like cats just run about and like dance and sing and they have like human faces they look so ugly like they're furry human like dancing ugly creatures just and they ate cockroaches which also had human like features and it was weird okay it was weird as you said yourself the movie was horribly confusing but it was also mortifying there was a review online that said cats was the worst thing to happen to cats since dogs that really made me laugh it's completely true the film was absolutely horrible to watch and the cats don't even look like cats the concept doesn't work at all it would have worked as an animation or if they just had people and leotards doing the performance. But by going with the terrible CG, they have cemented themselves in the worst position, as the film only scored 13% on Rotten Tomatoes and was easily one of the worst films of the year, with someone saying with some people saying Yup, the CGI itself was done horribly though. Like if you like notice carefully like at their feet. I don't like people don't really look at feet when they're watching a movie, but I do, okay? I don't have a foot fetish, just saying. But they're literally like floating. They're not like walking on the freaking ground. They're floating. And also the faces of the cats don't like match the cat's body and their movement. And when you see those things, you just can't unsee it. Right? You can't, you can't, you just can't unsee it. Like, the whole movie throughout, I just noticed those things and I thought it was weird. But I guess the movie was designed for people who wouldn't notice, like, old people. Like, not, no offense, but like, old people who are crazy about cats and don't give a about these things. They just, I don't know care about cats and they only like cats. You forgot to mention the dreadful editing sequence, which was also a complete mess. They made sure that when the characters danced, their faces weren't seen for more than two seconds a sequence. You can clearly tell their 95 million dollar budget wasn't used wisely whatsoever. Wait, so is it actually them dancing or what? Because like that was like the only decent thing about the movie, like the singing and the dancing. Even though I had like enough of both of them after like three songs. It's actually the them dancing. It was the post effects that couldn't make their faces come alive, so they minimized the amount of screen time including their faces. Oh, okay. Well, at least they used some sort of talent in the making of this movie. But still, it's such a shame to put such great celebrities into a movie which is so cringy. Like, even James Corden, okay? James Corden is in this movie, right? Like I mentioned before. He refused to watch a movie he's in. He refused to watch Cats. Because he knows. He knows it's bad. It's so bad. Yeah, I've seen that article. It's a shame this movie turned out so bad that even actors and actresses starring in it refused to watch it. Okay, guys. I think it's time that me and Calvin should rate this movie out of 10 because 
if we keep talking about this, I'm just gonna cry. I hate this movie. Because now, whenever I go watch a movie with my friends, I can't unsee the cats. Like, wait, let me rewind. The celebrities that are in cats are in the movies that I watch now. And when I watch those movies that I want to enjoy, I can't stop thinking of the stupid cats they look like. Cats. The hideous ball of fluff that way they were in the movie Cats. So now I can't focus on movies that I actually want to enjoy. So yeah, thanks to Cats for that. I'm gonna rate it 1 out of 10 just because the dancing and singing was like talent, I guess. So yeah, what do you think, Calvin? I hated the movie. It was absolutely horrible to watch and I didn't want to re-watch it for this assignment, but we all have to make some sacrifices. It completely ruins other movies, and the movie itself wasn't that good at all in any department. I rate it a 0 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Okay guys, thank you for watching this lovely video of me reviewing cats with my friend. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can see... Well, this was our last ass assessment from Mr. Pumpkin, so... Just like and subscribe anyways. Thanks. Bye.